Okay. So uh, let's look at the first question. What is gravitational field strength? So the answer for this is as simple as force per unit mass. Now, an isolated planet is uniform sphere of this, its mass is this, may be considered to be a point mass concentrated center. Okay. Gravitation field strength. So, gm upon r squared would be the best way. You know it's 6.67 times 10 raised to minus 7. And what you do? Mass is given. 6.42 times 10 is for 23 divided by uh, yeah 3.39 times 10 is for 6 volts per. So this would be actually 3.73 newtons per kilogram. So you can check. Then you have centripetal acceleration. So there are a couple of ways you can do it. Uh, so you know that acceleration is uh, omega square r and you don't, don't know the omega so omega is 2 pi by t as you can see the time period is given so what you do you can 24.6 r star so you can do 60 minutes and 60 seconds like that right and then can you please find this This would be iron. There's zero point uh, zero one seven one. Okay, uh, radians per second. Now what you do? Put it here, and the radius you already know. That is three point three nine times ten power six. Wait, okay. so, sorry, sir. I have told you acceleration. I told you omega. Jo hai, wo hai. 7.09 times 10 power minus 5. And so acceleration is directly at this. Okay. That says force per unit mass is an object by the surface of the planet. So that's simple. So force, uh, we had this G. And if uh, the person is standing on G, so he will apply force like this. And then upwards, he's going to feel uh, the same force, but the centripetal force is down, which is like acceleration is 0 0.0171 Newtons per kg. So you subtract them. And the answer is, Sir, so our weight hota hai, usme ye centripetal force bhi included hoti hai. Hmm. Oh, ye maine kabhi soche nahi tha, sir. Centripetal force included nahi hoti, net hota hai. Isn't? When you stand on a weighing machine, so that is the reaction force. Yeah, that's correct. So let's find it. So it's not a big deal, it's very small. It's 3.71. So 3.71. 3.7. All right. Now going to the next question. It says show that the number of molecules is this. So the best way to do that, uh, if I were you, I would directly use PV is equal to NKT because I like this. Because number of molecules can be found directly, right? Like this. Okay. So pressure is 3.1 times 10 raised to power minus 3. And this is 8.5 times 10 raised to 6. Right, that's given. Uh, and then you could do n times 1.3 times 10 raised to minus 22. And uh, the pressure is 2, uh, temperature is 290. So directly you can write it. So can you find this? It should come out as yes, a Yeah, so sure. Now, 
Now it says show the final temperature of the gas. Uh, that's fine. Show the final temperature of the gas is this. Okay. This one. Okay, so that's simple. They've already given everything. So what you do, you can use uh, the same thing. Uh, 6.3 times 10 raised to minus three, that is the volume, right? Uh, times pressure is 2.7 times 10 raised to one minus 20. Um, 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 okay. And uh, no, that's not the- uh, And about five. Then, no, no, no. that's not, this is not correct. Sir, P1, V1 over T1 use kar le. Equals to P2, V2 over T1. Uh, fine. it's easy no problem right should i go on then yes you have to get there the uh, average translational kinetic energy where t is the thermodynamic portion constant blah 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 so that's not a big deal you could easily do this so uh what you do this is for one particle. It's telling about the gas. So for gas, uh, kinetic energy is formula is 3 by 2 and by the way, not this. So 3 times, uh, 3 by 2 times 6.6 uh, .6 times 10 raised to 20 theta. Uh, K is 1.38 times 10 raised to minus 23. And the change in temperature, because he's asked about the change in temperature. So change in temperature would be uh, basically, final minus, yeah. So that would be the answer is negative 1400. Negative 1400 joules. So that would be the decrease, right? Now, you use the first law of thermodynamics why the external work done on the gas during expansion is equal to increase the thermal energy. Now, you guys need to understand that basically the equation is uh, this. Right, this is our equation. Now you see that no energy was given in or out. So Q was zero, hence delta U should be equal to the work done. So that's because the gas expanded and internal energy decreased. The right. written answers may ye equations lick lick. You can. Yeah, but words may achha, lick, so, lick, so, why not? But so, it's or, good. Uh, Two significant figures the ground can or three tak bhi chhod sakte hain nahi uska rule ye hai ki question se ek zyada ya same in data or one more hmm sahi hai is super sahi change karna okay so this is pretty simple the equation we have seen how the liquid undergoing uh, this so if something like this happens right so you should always remember that this is uh, A, A equals to minus omega square x. Basically, this, you can compare this. So we can always say in this sort of question, this will come again and again, that acceleration is always in opposite direction to displacement. How do you know this? Due to negative sign. One mark. Second mark, where omega square equals to G upon L, it is constant. Third, so magnitude of acceleration is directly proportional to 
magnitude of displacement. These are the three marks you got to write. Now, it says the length of the liquid is 18, determine this. So we already know this, that omega square is equal to G upon L. Uh, length is given. We need to find the time period, right? So we can replace this. So we yeah, have 4 pi square over t square, 9.81. And you got to change this to 0 0.18. So what is the time period? What did you guys do? 0 0.85. 0 0.85 seconds, very good. Right. Okay. Then. Waalaikum <laughs> salam, Lisa, how are you? I'm good, sir, how are you? I'm good. Now, the oscillation of sir? the liquid in the tube is done, yes? Very good. Yeah? Is my key to subject? Is it not? 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 In one or uh, complete cycle oscillation, the amplitude increases by 6% of the thickening. So determine the ratio. Now this uh, uh, is something very, very important. You should remember that intensity, it is directly proportional to amplitude. Intensity is energy over time or area. If these are same, then energy is proportional to amplitude square. Do you guys understand? Right. So it says every after every cycle it reduces by six percent. So now there's a method to this madness. Suppose that six percent is basically equivalent to zero point zero six, right? So out of hundred or one, uh, can we say that after each oscillation it reduces to like it will be zero point nine four, and then it will be 6% of that and 6% of that. So what you do is you can, because there are three oscillations, so you can write that the after three oscillation energy is gonna be, so or amplitude, okay. amplitude after three oscillations is going to be 0 0.94 cube because there are three times this is going to happen. And then of A, original. Now what you do? Now this whole thing should be a uh, square, right? So can you find this? What is this first? Zero point three A naught would be like this, right? So after three or So energy is proportional to A square. So we're going to do this square divided by a naught square, like that, right? So when you square this, so 0 0.83 square times a naught square over a naught square. So this and this will cancel out, what is this? 0 0.69. 0 0.69 should be dancing. Is it clear? I have assumed that energy or amplitude are uh, directly proportional. Hai. So I have written 0 0.83, so you will one mark or you will not get That's wrong. Hmm. That's wrong. So in this, if you have still done this, you get one mark. But uh, writing, this is, if you haven't done this, this is wrong. You have to come to uh, uh, intensity. Now question number four. You don't have to do this because this is from uh, old stuff. Though it was so easy. Okay, uh, and a uh, question of five to them. Take it direct. So, uh, an isolated metal sphere of radius r is charged to the electric potential surface as V naught. Sketch the variation of distance shape of electric potential your graph. 
So electric potential is uh, V equals to KQ upon R, right? That's one upon R. So this means that uh, at zero, it will be here. At, uh, you know, uh, from three, so I think at three, it will be one by three. Can you do one upon one by three? What is that? Um, 0 0.33. 0 0.3? Yeah. Right. So 0 0.33, that should be somewhere here, I think. 0 0.25 should be here, 0 0.33. Okay. So you don't have to, you know, necessarily be targeting the right value, but I think it should be. So uh, potential when it is R should stay the same. So it will be a straight line from here. And then it will decrease. At two, it will be half. Like this. Keep on decreasing like this uh, in a curve, right? So 0 0.33 will solid line nahi hogi. 0 0.5 so just niche wale. 0 0.33 solid line hogi. Uh, you can test it. Doesn't matter. So you have to find that correctly, do it. And straight line. Do not make any other line, horizontal line. Okay, then. Uh, photons having wavelengths, uh, this. And what to do now? Wow. So it says photons having wavelength incident metal surface, the maximum wavelength for which emitted is lambda naught. Right. For photons of wavelength this, the maximum kinetic energy is E max. So at lambda by two, this is E max, right? So I'm gonna put it. And on sketch variation of with the wavelength, the maximum kinetic energy for values, lambda equals to this and lambda equals to that. Okay. All right, so if you look at it, you will see that, uh, well, it's maximum, it's a kind of maximum energy. Hmm. Uh, at this, it should have no energy, right? I'm the not. So then, At zero, don't you think so? At zero, it should be uh, more. You know, I said that lambda naught by three is like lambda naught to keep making. Lambda naught by three to keep making. So it will become lambda naught by three. If lambda naught by two pe e max is, then lambda naught by three pe kitni hogi? That is the question. Let me think about it. It's okay. Hello. All right, so what you're going to do is that uh, lambda uh, lambda naught by three. Well, it should be a decreasing gradient. So let's check it. E is equal to eight C upon lambda, right? So um, with that respect, E1 lambda one equals to E2 lambda two. Can you, if this is uh, uh, like E E, max and lambda is lambda naught by two what will be e2 if the lambda is lambda naught by three can you guess
थ्री बाई टू होना चाहिए ना वन पॉइंट फाइव होना चाहिए है ना सो या वन पॉइंट फाइव होना चाहिए वन पॉइंट फाइव तो ये बनता नहीं वन लैमडा नॉट फाइव थ्री और तो इसमें कोई सब इसमें नहीं आ रही और कहना है माइंड सो लैमडा बाय थ्री देन इट शुड बी अ ग्रेडिएंट लेकिन ऐसा सही नहीं है बंदा ऐसा होना नहीं चाहिए अ फोटोन वेवलेंथ इज दिस फॉर लैमडा नॉट इट इज जीरो सो इट सेज द मैक्स दिस इज लैमडा नॉट पे ई के मैक्स है ई के मैक्स लैमडा नॉट पे ई के मैक्स है तो फिर इसमें क्या होगी लैमडा बाई थ्री लैमडा नॉट बाई थ्री पे क्या होना चाहिए वन पॉइंट फाइव दे रहा है और ये रेशियो सही नहीं आ रही स्पीड ऑफ लाइट भी चेंज नहीं हो रही मेटल सर्फिस इंसिडेंट सो इट शुड गिव यू समथिंग लाइक दिस बट लेट्स सी why it's like this so it should be a curve with decreasing gradient there is no other way this should give you any other thing yep chalo here so lambda not by energy zero lambda not to is nikai ke zero hai na क्योंकि वहां पे उसने कहा the maximum wavelength jahan pe maximum wavelength pe honi chahiye wo मतलब काइनेटिक एनर्जी जीरो होगी ना जब अगर इमेशन हो जाए लेकिन मतलब मिनिमम हो मिनिमम फ्रीक्वेंसी और मैक्सिमम लैमडा ही मतलब होता है ये जीरो है लैमडा टू पे उसने बता दिया था हमें कि ई ई मैक्स है और लैमडा थ्री पे उसने कहा स्केच करो दैट्स व्हाई आई एम स्केचिंग इट लाइक दिस राइट सर सर मार्क्स स्कीम में जो है उन्होंने 2 ई मैक्स कहा हुआ है 1 बाय 2 ई मैक्स कहा हुआ है 2 हां वो कह रहे यहां से स्टार्ट होगा हमारा उसके हिसाब से बनी नहीं रहा लैमडा ई मैक्स पे अच्छा करते हैं कुछ सोचते हैं इसके ऊपर एक सेकेंड मुझे सोचने दो ये शायद मैंने गलत किया हुआ आई अंडरस्टैंड वेट so if i write the equation right that is kinetic energy equals to uh, photon energy hc upon lambda and uh, minus the work function right which is hc upon lambda not what do you say hai na hum sahi hai now let me think about it right so at uh, lambda not Uh, now it says when h c is lambda by two lambda not by two, then this basically gives us e e k. Is it correct? I'm saying yeah. ठीक है okay. अब वो ये कहता है कि what will be this if uh, say अभी हमें इसको देखना पड़ेगा कि h c lambda not basically है क्या एच सी लैमडा नॉट इज दिस वैल्यू राइट इट हैज टू बी ई के राइट दिस नो अदर वैल्यू अच्छा उसके बाद इसको हम देख लेते हैं ई के इक्वल्स टू एच सी लैमडा नॉट बाई थ्री थ्री ऊपर चला जाएगा थ्री एच सी और लैमडा नॉट माइनस एच सी अपॉन लैमडा नॉट सो वट यू गेट टू एच सी लैमडा नॉट सो टू एच सी इज E max. So what is that? This. That's why it's nice here. Awesome. Do you understand now? But it's like yeah. Level. Okay. We had to add this. That's why. Yeah. Guilty of it. All right. Everybody understand this? Should I go forward then? ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज दिस सारे ग्राफ एक ही में दे दी लेबल ऑन टाइम एक्सिस टी बाई थ्री ओके लेबल टाइम एक्सिस वन टी हाफ वट इज टी हाफ टाइम ऑफ हाफ लाइफ सो ये आ गया दिस 
you go here then go here this is 1.0 time half then uh, one quarter ke upar quarter ye aa jayega i think you go here and this will be 2.0 time half okay then uh, it says sketch a variation of time a number of nucleus decay product for time 0 to 2. sketch a variation of of the product okay now the product basically uh, would decrease or increase with the same level right so uh, it should start uh, where it is right now the product should be actually um, zero for sure product should be zero when there were all particles and then what what would happen um then when you know it's uh, n right so n number of particles are left right here okay so it should keep on increasing so one half like means half particles were there so it should be like this and then about the same point which is like quarter about the same point it will be like this do you guys understand this why sir curve kyun hoga because it should be the mirror image na jitne kam isme ho rahe hain utne usme badhenge usi hisab se so it should be a mirror image of this do you understand yes they are decreasing exponentially it will increase like that that's all okay tough question the sare subject ki sare curve ek hi topic puch le kya baat hai inki okay explain how the parallel plates could act as a capacitor insulating pad uh, right uh, they could uh, how capacitors work is that uh, potential difference between the plates causes energy to be stored between them you can also write charge ki separation we charge can move now uh, in this one it says uh, blah 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 okay it says show that the average current in ammeter is given by i equals cvf oh f is the frequency v is the potential difference across capacitor right theek hai jab yahan pe aise chala gaya right okay q is equal to cv hota hai right q is equal to i upon t right 1 upon t is frequency no sorry s period is right wait i upon uh, sorry q is i t not i upon t so i t t ko maan lete hain so t would be uh, 1 upon x so we can write i equals to c v root is it clear yes. all right now then uh, for the potential difference of uh, 180 v uh, and a frequency f for switching 50 hertz of average current the ammeter is this right so calculate the capacitance in picofarad of the parallel plates तो अब इसमें हम पुट कर देंगे दैट्स नॉट अ बिग डील सो करंट इज 2.5 टाइम्स 10 रेज टू माइनस 6 कैपेसिटेंस वी नीड टू फाइंड वी इज 180 एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी इज 50 कैन यू फाइंड दैट इन पीको दैट इज 280 280 जी पीको फैरेड ओके 280 Then the second capacitor is connected to circuit. Two capacitors are connected in parallel. State and explain if the charge, if any, the average current in the capacitor. Now remember that in parallel 
hamesha because parallel is the total question c1 plus c2 right so in parallel capacitance increases so according to i equals to cvf i is directly proportional to c so current increases is it clear yes sir now question number 7 we won't do it so easy it was such a nice chapter i still miss it okay question number 8 is calling why why uh, define magnetic flux density right so magnetic flux density uh, you could say that flux density b okay so uh, so you can apply it as force force is basically vil right so you can write b equals to o force over current over length right so you can say it is force per unit length and per unit current right where it is 90 degrees to the current or length so this is writing is important so one mark for this one mark for this now electron mm -hmm. in each of the masks yes sir yes so wo jo ek formula hai kya kehte hain b a n hmm वो किसका था मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स वो उसका था फ्लक्स लिंकेज का बेटा अच्छा अच्छा वो फ्लक्स लिंकेज था ये फ्लक्स डेंसिटी है जी नाउ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ईच ऑफ द मास एम एंड क्यू आर एक्सीलरेटेड रेस्ट थ्रू अ पोटेंशियल फ्लक्स इट डिराइव इन टर्म्स ऑफ द फाइनल स्पीड एक्सप्लेन योर वर्किंग वेरी इजी सो एनर्जी व्हाट एनर्जी इलेक्ट्रिकल गोस इनटू काइनेटिक so it is uh, vq and this is half mv square so yahi term is nikala so 2 vq over m under root will be so the all right done. now uh, in the next one it says the electron is moving on right angles uh, show that this uh, specific charge of electron given by the expression explain your work okay. okay this is not hard at all it looks hard to you It's not so force uh, in a, a force of a charge in a magnetic field is VQ. You know this for and because it is going in circular motion, so it should be uh, compared to mv square over r. So VQ equals to mv square over r. V and this cancels out. So So we need Q upon m, right? So we're putting Q over m here. We'll take speed and Q R on this side, right? We are. We actually uh, found this right. Two V Q over m under root, right? So what should do? राइट गुड गुड नो नो वरीज अब वहां पे वी लर्न समथिंग राइट वॉट डिड वी लर्न दैट इज द क्वेश्चन वी लर्न दैट वी स्पीड इज इक्वल टू टू इन द प्रीवियस एक्सप्रेशन दैट यू ड्राइव टू बी क्यू ओवर एम राइट नाउ वट एम गो इज एम गोट इट इट हेयर सो इफ आई पुट इट इफ आई पुट इट लाइक 
uh, if I, uh, this is going to get very, very long. So I'm going to put it here. 2VQ over M under root over BR. Now, if you want to remove this, so I got a square here, I got a square here. So this will be Q square over M square equals to 2VQ over M over B square R square QM and squares cancel out. So what you get, you get Q upon M equals to 2V over B square R square proved. All right. Now, the electrons are accelerated through a potential difference of this. The electrons are injected normally into magnetic flux density of this. The radius of this. So user information. So all, you already have all of this given. So specific charge would be Q upon M. They have already asked it. So they have given two times 230 divided by 0 0.38 times 10 is to minus three. And this should be whole squared. And the radius, uh, what's that? 14, so times 0 0.14 whole square. And the answer is? Um, 1.6 times 10 to power 11. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Kya baat and then suggest why the arrangement outlined uh, using the values B, B is not practical determination specific charge of alpha particle. Achha, ek mein bata du, that alpha particles are like huge in this. Mm -hmm. See? So, sir, charge or match ratio will be less than that? No, no. Charge or mass ratio will be less than that. Sir, if R is bigger, then it will be less than that. Yes, yes. So, because if you look at charge to mass ratio, the charge is plus to mass is for you. So, it is bigger than this. So, this is bigger. Which means, sorry, this is smaller, not bigger. This is smaller, and then uh, this means that uh, uh, R would R is uh, much larger. R is needed then, right? Hello. Ah. Uh. I know. Eighty plus. All right, is it clear now? State two situations which charged particle in magnetic field does not experience a force, right? Uh, it, uh, ki magnetic field se bahe chala ka. Uh, sahi. So you don't want that, right? Okay, uh, two situations tabhi ho sakti hai, hamesha magnetic field is going to affect a moving charge. So if there is a stationary charge, it doesn't affect it at all. And if magnetic field is parallel or zero degree to the moving charge, then it would not affect it. It should be 90 degrees. Now, this question is very nice. Now, in this, it says when the switch is closed, the magnetic field set up, uh, reference three magnetic of fields explain why the change in length of the spring started where this thing extends the contracts if you look at it the current is going to go from here 
like this, 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 right? If you just look at this portion, let me just uh, this. This is also in notes. So if you look at this portion only, so you realize that basically current is going in the same direction. So they will attract each other. So it means these are going to come closer. It is going to contract, okay? All right. So now the point is, what do we write for four marks? That's the question, right? So I'm looking at that current in each coil, right? Is moving circular. Hello. Wait a second, please. So current in each coil is moving in circular paths, right? Then what you do? So the magnetic field is 90 degrees to the adjacent turns, right? Then what you do, you write that force acts 90 degrees to both the coils due to interaction of magnetic fields. Then what you do? Forces are attractive. So the spring will contract. Four marks. One, two, three, four. Now, when the switch is closed, the small mass of free and the spring is now made to vertical. Use the principle electromagnetic induction to explain why fluctuation in the current in the spring is this, right? Why there is this. Fine. Now, for induction, you should always remember that the oscillations of coil cuts the magnetic field. See, magnetic field or flux scale. Then what you do? that cutting of magnetic flux per unit time induces EMF in coil. Then because there is a changing current, right? So there's small fluctuation. So Changing current or changing EMF, let's say, changing EMF induces or causes changing current in the coil. All right, that's all. Take me to a question. Now, question number 10. Uh, by reference to this, uh, you are to find the RMS value. So uh, RMS value, root mean square RMS. Explain what is meant by root mean square value of an alternating current. It means that it is the steady current, steady current that produces the same heating effect as the alternate. That's the answer. Uh, so they've given you a square wave and they've given you uh, that wave. 
first of all, they say determine the peak value in RMS current. Now that's pretty simple. So the peak value of this is this, which is I think 2.4, 2.4 or 2.6. Peak is this. Then uh, to find uh, the RMS value, what you do, you use uh, I naught or under root two. What was the answer? 1.8. 1.8? Okay. Good. All right. Now we will see this in this one. First, the peak is 2, as you can see. Now, this RMS value finds the negative tarika. It's not like just like this. So, you see that one hole. This is one hole, right? One hole oscillation. Okay. So you find the area first. So two times one is two, right? For this one, the area is two. For this one, area is also two. Is it clear? You add them together. What is that? Four. And the total time period is two. So the answer is two. Amperes. Just like this. Samajai, is it clear? Okay, good. So, we are out area of mean. Area of mean, exactly. Like that. So, area of mean, then you will get RMS, right? Okay. All right. So, basically, it's not a big deal. Otherwise, some people also, you know, square it off. You minus it, right? So, it's called the scope, mean it. That would also work. Right? So, that's up to you what you want to do. But uh, that's, that's this. So, area is called the mean. Uh, square karke, agar minus is square. Karke then, says variation here. And V is in volts, T is in second, K is a constant. Uh, frequency, you know. Now, it says find K. Now you know that this is k, uh, it is omega, it should be equal to omega is 2 pi by or 2 pi f, because frequency given is 2 pi f. So 2 pi into 50 equals to k. So what is the answer then? Three ten. Three ten. Okay. No, then say it's 314.5. 314.5? Yeah. Is that so, uh, he is rounded to significant figures. Oh, okay. Okay, the supply voltage is applied to heater. The mean power of heater is this calculated resistance of the heater. Now, um, you can actually use a couple of things. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you have the voltage that is 240, right? Okay. So, you can use power equals to V square over eh? V square over R. No, you can't use this. Ye to kai mean power given hai. Okay, sorry. Pehle hum kya karte hai? Iska pehle peak power nikalte. Peak power over 2 is mean power, right? So, if the mean power is 3.2, peak power is 2 times 3.2. 6.4 kilowatt, right? So, then we are going to use V square over 2 R. Okay, now uh, 6.4 times 10 raised to power 3, V uh, equals to, that was 240, I believe, divided by R. Can you find R, please? There are 9 on it, but I have found VRMS squared. 9 on it, okay, 9.0. Okay, is it clear? We are in MSC, we can it. It's not big deal. So, if you want to find VRMS, then you have to find VRMS by doing this. So, you find VRMS and then you can use mean power VRMS square over R. Okay. Now, going to the next state the purpose of computer uh, to, uh, tomography, CT scan. Okay. To, it's very simple. I've written it to produce a 3D image of a body structure. 
Okay, then outline the principles. Uh, I told you uh, a lot of times. Okay. So you need to remember this X rays are transmitted. Then what do you do? Oh my God. Scanning of each section. from many different angles for image of each section is taken twice to create 2D image. Then Many 2D images are repeated for many sections and combined together to form a 3D image. I hope you guys understand this. Now, um, sir? Yes, Lisa. Sir, is it okay to write in bullet points rather than writing the whole paragraph? I, if I was the examiner, I, you know, love somebody writing in bullet points. Makes my life so much easier. Right. But um, what, since you're I, not an, but sir, since you're not an examiner, so what should we do? No, no, bullet points is good. You should write okay. in. Okay. Okay, uh, photons. Photons is the packet of energy. You can also write quanta of electromagnetic radiation. Instead of radiation, you can write wave. So it says uh, this is a gamma ray photon of this uh, wavelength. Pretty simple. Energy equals to H C over lambda. Energy you have to change karna 0.57 times 10 power 6 times EV is 1.6 times 10 raised to minus 19 to change 6.63 times 10 raised to minus 34 multiplied by 3.0 times 10 raised to 8 divided by lambda. So the lambda is 2.18 to raise to minus 6. 2.18. Two point eight. one eight. Ten to raise power minus six. Minus twelve. Minus twelve. Okay. Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> okay. So momentum then. Momentum is uh, you can use uh, lambda equals to h upon p. So p will be h upon lambda, right? So we have the lambda. So 6.63 times 10 raised to minus 34 divided by 2.18 times 10 raised to minus 12. So the answer is 3.0 times 10 to the power negative 22. 22, very good. Okay. Using your answer in B2, determine the speed of uh, samarium. Samarium. Oh, I'll send this to Summer. Okay, then it's a nucleus after emission of photon. Hello. Okay, so yeah, class later on, make a class. Okay, summer, summer. Okay, now uh, it says emission of photon. Speed, so it is very easy. Energy equals to PC. Remember this. So that's very simple. So what do you do? C will be uh, energy. Okay, we need to find the momentum. So energy upon C. So 0 0.57 times 10 raised to power 6. That was this. Times 1.6 times 10 raised to minus 19 joules. 3.0 times 10 raised to 8. And the momentum is? We have the momentum, right? That's wrong. 
हमारे पास था ओके डिवाइडेड बाय मास 157 है सो 157 टाइम्स 1.66 टाइम्स 10 रेस्ट माइनस 27 सो आंसर इज 1.2 टाइम्स 10 रेस्ट पावर 2 1.2 टाइम्स 10 रेस्ट पावर 3 राइट बाय रेफरेंस टू योर आंसर एक्सप्लेन क्वालिटेटिवली व्हाई द स्पीड ऑफ समेरियम निक्लेस मे बी अस्यूम्ड टू बी नेग्लिजिबल कंपेयर्ड टू द स्पीड ऑफ फोटॉन because it is very small you see 1.2 times 10 to so 3 is so small then 3.0 times 10 to so 8 so almost negligible is it clear yes sir all right okay so that is it Tada! Finish. All right. So you have any questions from 